Welcome back to Coding Commanders. I'm Commander Candy, and today we are going to learn how to use the Node.js query function with a Postgres database. Today's sample project is going to be the high score list of a battle card game. Coding Commanders. Now that I'm at my command line, I'm going to MKDIR CC battle cards. CQCC battle cards and KDIRJS. Inside the JS directory, I'm going to create and edit a document using BIM called highscore.js. As always, the first line of code is use strict. Now we're going to set our connection variable db equal to require database slash db.js. Now that we've included db.js, we better go make that file. We are creating a document called db.js in the database directory to store our connection variable. Here is how you do it. So for our connection variable, we're going to have to require a Node.js module PG, which allows us to use Postgres with our Node.js. You can check out my written lesson on queries. I also have a video showing you how to do the insert and all that kind of stuff. npm install pg. pg equals require pg. db equals new pg dot pool. Then we're going to have user. And then in quotes, you'll go ahead and put your username, post. If you're using the local host, you could put local host. Um, otherwise, you could put IP address there or possibly another host name. Database, you're going to put your database name. And then finally, you're going to put your password here in quotes. Now we're going to create a database called CC underscore battle cards. And inside that database, we're going to create a table called high scores. Inside the high score table, we're going to store our high score data. Okay, now we're back to BIM. Let's go ahead and write some high score code. I to get into insert mode while I look up my the code on my web lesson. And if you go on, there's like these little boxes where like if you don't know if there's a previous lesson that has information on that code, it'll link it or may tell you some additional information about the code in that function. Now let's declare our player object. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Player is going to be a function of score in name. This dot score is going to equal the score and this dot name is going to equal the player's name. I'm going to show some object oriented and some functional in this lesson. You can pick whichever one you want. Here's our player constructor. I'm including this function data keys just to show you how to see the keys of your objects in case you're having trouble locating where to find the data you're looking for. If you're not familiar with keys or objects or arrays, check out my written lesson on JavaScript data sets. It's going to be really important that you do understand JavaScript data sets in order to write any type of JavaScript code, whether it's on the server or the client side. Now we're going to write the code is high score. Now as part of your homework, you are going to alter this function more details about that on the corresponding written lesson. This is the code that's going to determine whether or not that player did make the high score list. Basically how is high score is going to work. At the beginning of the function, there's going to be a variable called to return initialized at zero. Then we're going to loop through the data results. We're going to loop through all the high scores. We're going to loop through all the data returned by our query. We're going to compare the current player's high score to each value on the high score list. If the player's score is higher than that high score, we're going to add one to two return. It's going to keep looping through until we've completed the entire data set. Then at the end, it's going to return to return. So if the player did make the high score list, 
two returns going to be more than zero because they're going to be greater than at least one score. My rule for being on the high score list is just that you beat any score on the high score list, but there's no never constraint. We need to add a never constraint if that is your homework. More details on that on the corresponding web lesson. Next, the code to execute if the player makes the high score list. Our jump is a function of name and score. Statement equals our SQL insert statement. It inserts the player's data into our table. We are parameterizing user input values to prevent against SQL injection. If you don't know what I mean. Check out my Node.js query web lesson at codingcommanders.com slash Node.js. Now for our query function. Its parameters are error, response and a callback function. The corresponding web lessons explains this in great detail. If there is an error, we will return that error. Else, console log raise. Must test function. Must test function. Must test function. Must test function. Too much data. No. Must fix function. Must fix function. Ah, perfecto. Now for the ones who did not make the list, losers. We will still show these chaps the high score list. The day of equality is coming. Those who do not adapt will be left behind. Game over function time. Game over is a function of name and score. We shall query the high scores. If there is an error we have to return this error. What do we want to happen when the query executes properly? We shall call the function is high score and determine if the player is indeed a champ. If he is a champ. We will call add champ. Otherwise, we will call not champ. After this lesson I encourage you to rewrite the functions called in game over. Make your own rules. We can call game over in a prototype function, aka method, that is attached to our player object. In real life, player would have multiple methods. Sometimes doing it this way makes it easy to call the functions. Thank you for watching Coding Commanders. If you have any questions please comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you again for watching and until next time. Happy coding. Coding commanders.